a security just here to show you how to connect your enforcer panel back up to a new router or a new Wi-Fi in your house um, so first of all you need to go into your manager menu uh, you press D and then you put your code in so it's still on a default and then you go through until you get to Wi-Fi setup you just keep pressing no I went too far there I'll just go back Wi-Fi setup yes uh, setup with device and this now is giving you a virtual Wi-Fi network. So the network is uh, this and this is the password. So they're both the same. But as you look at your phone, you'll see that you've got the network there. So it's just here. So you press on that. And that's now going to connect. So basically what you're doing here is you're connecting your phone to the panel. Uh, once that's connected to the panel, you can then come out, go to Safari, if you're on an iPhone, and then on an iPhone, I've always found that it's best to press 192.168.0.1. Uh, if you're on an Android, just going into Google, um, is fine. So now what we're trying to do is we're trying to now look for the Wi-Fi that you want to point the panel to. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go to Ace and then going to put the most secure password in the world. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is just for test purposes. Obviously that's not the real password. And that now is connecting to the panel. Once that is connected, the panel will show that it is connected. There we go, connected to network. And that's it, you've pointed your panel back to your new Wi-Fi or your new router. The best thing to do now is to press yes, then press no until you get to capital letters like I've showed you before A is a save and backup and the system is now ready to use okay see you on the next one